What is up everyone, Northside here and it took me a couple of days, well more than a couple of days to finalize my mod 22 build. It will contain augmented companion as you can see here, we got Albert Cub and also with the Mr. Gog or whatever you got at your disposal. So let's dive into it. Since my pre-build not a lot of has changed but I did mess around with an enhancements and of course with some other things. So let's start. Regarding the race, I am female git for the combat advantage, extra combat advantage, and my ability score history is all in strength and all in charisma. Why strength, why charisma? Because stamina regeneration and physical damage boost. Why charisma? Forte and recharge speed. Simple as that. Now, if you look on my right side, my total item level is quite high, for my standard at least, and as you can see, I have capped power, accuracy and combat advantage as ratings and i will explain furthermore uh, how this whole things works for me personally i am mostly solo player now i am still using goristro horns for the critical strike and critical severity and less bone devil's ribcage which will provide me critical strike and critical severity at least until i get uh, better rings or maybe some uh, new gear okay so my risk guard of precipitation are here, even though I could use, uh, for example, spike defender one braces with the raw damage. But why I'm not using that is because I have, I am still using upper pack brands of the Inferno. This shirt is dependable on stamina. So, because I'm using over penetration feet, I need my power and accuracy to be capped, and I don't want to die. Henceforth, I need to of course sprint which will deplete my stamina but i will be in combat i will strike an enemy and that i found some balance within power there and i think it works really really nice moving forward this is an aoe setup just i forgot to say this is an aoe setup lionheart greatsword and lionheart sword knot within lionheart i have enhanced relentless slash because that's the most thing i use for clearing the trash minus the roar minus, minus this okay Regarding the offhand modification is critical severity, you can change that uh, with whatever you want and enhance combat advantage. I will explain why combat advantage in a second when I switch to single target setup. Wasteland Wanderers for the feet uh, for more extra combat advantage of course. On the right side I am still using Demon Lord set, I find it quite useful in my parses. And I am not deviating from that for now. I won't be using the new that because I simply don't have the band of air, uh, which really works well, but I, uh, I don't have it. So I am using two diamond rings of fight, the ones with the actual melee powers do 3% more damage. I already talked about the shirt. Now the pants are worn, pants of the scout. It's just something I got for more critical severity and awareness. I got it from the new zone and that's the only item I got, I'm using from the new zone actually and that's it. Now if you look at my total item level you can see that I have a lot of hit points I need to hit really hard in order to proc these two pieces of gear. And But that's how the system is. Regarding the damage I always aim to be over 9000 in this case it's 9132. Now enhancements it took me a little bit to, in, to Put things in order so we got one citrine enchantment which is 2,250 accuracy amethyst enchantment same with the combat advantage jade enchantment critical strike and garnet enchantment with the power all defensive enchantments are garnet enchantments with, which give defense not that i have a lot but it is how it is that's what i placed in my defense slots utility is garnet enchantment of course because of the forte and we got stamina bonus because you know you can't ever have enough stamina for the barbarian poison torn currently i am using it and uh, i do have all well, obviously curse burn but i'm using this for all content now it doesn't matter and uh, until they fix the bug with the nullifiers poison torn is probably best in slot and and it is uh, even nerfed as it is now so Regarding my overloads, now I switch these. I use Rage of Flames for raw damage and Devil's Precision for 5% critical chance and accuracy. However, I got a lot of these because you can buy them now and whatnot. And also, uh, if you, you, you can change this, you can use 
something for the dragons, something, uh, a lot of stuff for the new area. Regarding my artifacts, I'm using obviously the Mugoros Reach and I stick to my uh, journals because they are doing very well on the parse. Regarding the powers, obviously we have for Atwills Relentless Slash and Breath Strike uh, for a finisher. Usually for AoE, I'm just using Relentless Slash and my modification is on main hand Relentless Slash. Now I'm using Not So Fast, Roar, and Blood Letter for a finisher, Trample the Fallen as passives, and Steel Blitz always in my plot. So that's very important. And regarding the dailies, we got Avalanche of Steel, Savage Advance, and we also have Feats, not that we have many, Relentless Speed, Blood Spiller, Over Penetration, Steel Slam, and Relentless Battle Ray. Boons, Campaign Boons, you can pause the video, I never read these, so you can check them out. Heal Stronghold Boons, I'm using Power, and I'm switching to Critical Strike or Critical Severity, uh, depending on situation I am, but usually it's Power, Defense, and Movement Speed Bonus, but I usually use Mount Speed Bonus when I'm just roaming the overland, and just I want to get quickly to, from one place to another, that's simple as that. Now, regarding the companions, this is an Albert Cub. Now, Albert Cub give additional bonus to accuracy, combat advantage, and critical severity with the owner, as you can see here. Now, I can you can see that I'm using mythic companion enhancement, two pieces of the same companion gear until I get the new one. Um, I think there's only one piece, but nevertheless. Now, regarding this uh, player enhancement. It's either potency, acute senses, or actual redemption for healing. Because when I heal with redemption with 900, over 900,000 hit points, it's quite cool. And I'm, I don't really need to use potions or anything like that. So, we got Face by the Presence, Neverwinter Nice Discipline. Yes, I lost Critical Strike, but I, I got increased damage, outgoing damage by 7.5%. Golden Cat Instincts. Alchemist Discipline and Style of Presence. So, this is for the companions. Now, let's wrap it up with the mounts. Divine Intervention to push mobs away from me. Ferocious Predator with the power and critical severity. And I have four legendary necklaces. I upgraded them. And you can see I'm using Cobetta Maneuver, Assassin's Covenant, Gladiator Guile, World Inspiration, and another World Inspiration. Now, this is for the Summon Companion. If you're wondering why I'm using Combat and Maneuver, is be, is, that is because I am not using Control Power when I'm doing a single target attack. The rotation is quite simple regarding the actual AoE. You want to get into Battle Rage as soon as, as, soon as you can, Roar, and here we go. And just keep whacking them until they die. You won't have Combat Advantage here, but because I have a summoned companion, but I will show you how it works on an actual uh, with the summoned companion. Now, regarding the single target with the augment companion, now keep this in mind. I just switch to Frenzy, Indomitable Bell Strike, and I switch my Lionheart Greatsword to Mirage Greatsword. Now, Mirage Sword Knot has modification, combat advantage, critical severity. But Mirage Greatsword has enhanced Brass Strike because simply it's for the actual single target. And that's it. Also, don't use your encounters while you're in Battle Rage. Just do this, do this, fill your gouge. Place debuff and keep whacking the target, hopefully with a tank in front of you. And that's it. Rinse, repeat. Now this is with the Augment Companion. Now what happens with when I switch to the actual companion that I'm using for AoE, which is Mr. Gog? I am using losing a lot of stats, however, however, Mr. Gog will provide. So for AoE 
and this is for AOE by the way uh, I simply do this do this and he is doing this which is quite cool he is doing uh, good damage blowing the targets and that's pretty much it nothing really special about this he's gonna do his attack again here he is he did it again and there we go now I am switching from Mr. Gog, actual Mr. Gog, to Spine Devil, and uh, that's about it. So, uh, if you have any questions, uh, I forgot actually to tell you about the single target mount power. That depends really on the party, or whether you're in a trial, what you're going to use. Uh, it really depends who is using what, what stacks with what. So, this was Northside with his. Uh, AoE build, single target build for Mod 22 version 1. It will change, and basically, that's it. Thank you for watching. Shout out to my channel members, and Northside is out.